We are here at Oklahoma City Airport getting to go on our trip and you'll have to wait to find out where we're going but it's good to travel. Travel is good despite that it's we had to leave at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. That's nice. Drive down here and get on a plane by 6 or 7. All right, see you guys back in a bit. What? Browns. That's still a cool statue. I wonder what they have. Food wise. Hook, hook. Well, they probably don't have any of that one. <laughs> they probably don't have that one fruit. Oh yeah, they, they, they probably don't even have an engine in it. Really, it smells good though. It does. It's intriguing now. Okay, we made it through security. We're here. We're on time. See you guys next spot. One of my favorite things about traveling, especially not in a vehicle, is being able to fly. And one of my favorite parts about flying is the takeoff and landing sequence when you transition from filling the bumply, bumpy, bumpiness of the runway to the smooth, smooth air, or smoothness of the air. And that you get a little bit of feeling of weightlessness and some negative Gs. They make me a little nervous sometimes, but uh, they're fun. And so some of my friends haven't had the chance to fly, so this experience is for you guys to look around. Uh, enjoy the 360 and uh, get the feeling of takeoff because I still get it even watching this video. Also interesting fact, the camera is tilting. It's actually horizontal level. If you look around, that is the angle of the plane going up. And on the runway, it actually tilted a little bit due to the G-forces that were uh, applied going zero to, I think, to, you know, 150 to 200 miles an hour in so many seconds. takeoffs but landings are fun also when the plane hits you'll see the flaps all the way down the slats go all the way up and you'll hear, hear the engines rev up when it revs up that's a clamshell device redirecting that flow of that engine exhaust to the front of the plane to help slow it down on those little bitty short runways that we all land on this is a multi-flight trip, so there'll be plenty of things. The other thing I really love about flying is seeing all the different landscapes that you get to see while you're flying around the country, just plane to plane. Woke up in Oklahoma City, fell asleep in Portland, Oregon area. There are 
always great, and sometimes it even looks like you're in outer space. Also, uh, being that I've traveled around, and this is really cool, I've actually started, because I don't have the GPS on my phone, recognizing some of the stuff from satellite view, because I was always looking in the bus for a smoothest route possible, with as few of hills, I started recognizing towns and cities that I have been in and spent multiple weeks and months in. in it. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, Chris is here too. Oh, well, if you guys haven't figured it out, I am in Portland visiting my sister. And we came here to... What is this place called? It's like Cartlandia. It's a food place. Food place that has multiple food carts to eat at. And I am here getting a pad thai with egg noodles, or egg rolls. I'm starving, I haven't ate since two today. There. And it's raining today. We brought the rain with us. Bet it's way better than the 100 degree heat we've been dealing with. Look, blackberries everywhere. There's ton of blackberries. They, uh, no one likes them because they're sticky. And they're everywhere, and they take over. But they are edible blackberries, so if you like blackberries, the Pacific Northwest is definitely a place to come. If you like them, especially this time of the year. We're on a hunt to find my sister. She went on a walk along with my friend. I assume they came up this way, but there's actually no guarantee they did come up this way. Yeah. We'll t turn around to the top of the hill. Alright, we'll find them eventually. Alright, the hunt continues for them. Wherever they went. I think they're up on top. That's the only place I haven't checked yet. And we gotta find the hammock wherever it is. Um, I've only been through here once. But it's absolutely gorgeous. I see a hammock. Ah, hot now. I'll see them going out on that busy road with the dogs, so they have to be here somewhere. And the dogs will probably come out at me and make me jump. Oh gosh. Now we found the hammock. Yeah. Which way from here? Oh, it's too heavy. Too hot. I heard a noise. The dogs are gonna scare me, I bet you. I'm not answering their phones. Get good and lost in here. Sweating already. I think we'd hear the dogs. Okay. 
There's a crack. That's a good sign. Let's see. Let's see that they're up here. They got the crazy number neighbors are up here. We'll see. Oh, excuse me. I know eventually. Your voices. Like a heck of a hill there, right? Right where we came up at. Close enough. I guess I have no clue where they went. All right, we found them. Well, we found them yesterday. He's back at the house. They went a little bit farther down the road than I did. And that's how I missed them yesterday when I was searching for them. But we are here in Washington State. We drove a couple hours to the north. And we're gonna go check out the, what they call the ape cave. And I'll record if when I can, if I can, if it comes out. I have no clue, but uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go do the ape cave. It's gorgeous here. And I'm dressed for a cold because it's supposed to be like 60 or 50 down in the cave. So I got like double layers on. So I'll see you guys down there. Closure up a little bit more. That made this be a, a pointless battle. To see if I can get it. Pointless <laughs> battle? Oh, we got light. There's light here. So creepy, but there's enough light I can record a little bit. You guys can see, and all you all can see, the light. We can't exit here. They said very much so. Do not exit, so look up that way. You'll see the outside. You kind of see it. It's about medium. It gets smaller and it gets bigger than this, but that's really nice. At least it's a bright, sunshiny day. Look at that green. You had to get out. Maybe, but if you had to get out here, it was probably because the rain was coming in. It's like my only my only cave video is of the one spot that was light in the cave. How much further after the first hole did it say it was? It wasn't that far. Just hopefully we won't so find any more magic piles of brown. Specific mileage is not that far. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not that far. There's a nice breeze. Oh god, I twist something here. Ooh, look at that. One side's gonna be really bright, the other side's gonna be really dark. Back into the pocket you go. It's a lot warmer. Oh, leaving the cave. You need me to wait for you? You good? Okay. Taking everything off and if I can climb more free can't believe. Oh I smell it. Oh that's the moisture smell. There it is. There's the clip. Oh you got a little blood on your head. Yeah, I could feel it earlier. I just didn't work it. Just 
I'd be better without so much bright light. You want to go first? Sure. I'll record as I go up. Yeah. Now I'm creeped out. Go ahead. Okay. Uh. Well, this is such a weird ladder. Come on, Aaron. Hey. Hey. There's slime up here. And there we go. What was the cave's name again? Ape Cave. There it is. I should go Apollo. I don't know why I call him Parent. Oh, that's so pretty. My legs will be nice and burned out after today. Anyhow, we came down the, the road a little while to get a view. We got it back. There's a nice mile and a half in the cave and a mile and a half out. It's a cool cave to hike if you ever get to come up this way. Definitely worth it. Oh my god. Love of rocks. Ooh, it's all not in shade. Yeah, you know, Mount St. Helens, right there. That's all. Hey, let me move here. We're near the tree line too. I'm impressed my sister hiked up that, her and her husband did. And another group of people hiked up all the way up that in one day. One 12 hour day. <sighs> Alright, I'll see you guys in the next spot. This lava field is really cool here. Alright. Here to my sister's yesterday after going several places. Here is my nephews right here, Paolo and Bernie, and there's a cat around here too that's also a nephew.